How much on the Fitbit, Jamie? All, uh, all three. All three? Yeah. Uh, 20 on the three. Okay. But I thought, Jamie, that I could not have to check when it came to you. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. We've got another big flea market hunt ahead. Uh, a little bit different this week, though. I've got Fabsy here. Uh, Fabsy is one of my really good mates from Run Club and he's not an eBay seller at all. So we're gonna do something a bit different and we're gonna get in here and we're gonna give Fabs the eBay app and we're gonna get him to check up items and try and make a couple of dollars profit. And I'll be there to guide him and help him through the process as well. So it could make for an interesting video. I'm looking forward to it. You? Uh, I'm nervous. You're nervous? I'm very nervous. Well, let's get in there and we'll see how we go. How much on the shoes, mate? How you doing? Hi, how are you? You uh, do a bit of running, I take it. Uh, I've seen the, the Hoka. These are brand new. Oh, are they? These oh, these, yeah. Yeah, so 20 bucks. 20? Let's do it. <laughs> Here you go, I'll make your life easy. There's a 20. Oh, that's a cool hat. Jack, Jack Daniels too. Yeah, that's cool. So here it is, our first buy of the day. We've got the Salomon Sense Ride women's running shoes. Now these are a size US 9.5, but being brand new with tags, I should be able to get about $100 for these. A great start to our day. Oh, Brizzy Lions. One of the great wins last night, the Brizzy Lions. They'll win it this year. How are you doing? I'm good, mate. How's things? Yeah, yeah, well. I'll just leave that there. Yeah, yeah, just um, well, trying to take advantage of this today, but it seems to be a little bit quiet. It does, doesn't it? Jamie's got the best booth here. I know, right? By far. How you doing? Great to see you. You too. Everything on the table a dollar, guys. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Sorry. He bought a car yesterday. Oh, did you? Yeah. What'd you get? What'd you get? A Land Cruiser Prada. Yeah, that's a great hey, first car. That's um, that's a big car. Yeah. Oh wow. I won't have to do yet. That's oh, unreal. Check this out, guys. Jamie bought a car. Did you like that? Nice. Jamie bought a car. Well done, Jamie. Thank you. That's a huge moment in a man's life. How do you feel? Um, feel pretty good. Feel pretty good, as you should. Did you um buy it with your flipping money? Yeah. That's pretty sick. Hey, Matt. What do you got there? Oh, okay. Five dollars. We've got a, se a season two of this of uh, Pokemon, and you're seeing a. Oh, okay. And that's a definite match. I believe so. Well, let's do it. Let's let's go find Jamie. Jamie, we found a winner on your table. Did you? Yep. Uh, there you go. I've got season two. How much is it? Five. Yeah. Thank you. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> He's like, I reckon I found one. <laughs> That's just for today. <laughs> yeah. Taking a newbie out. <clears throat> Literally no idea, but he's, he's killed it with the first one. That's Where's awesome. Your, why isn't your phone out scanning? I don't understand this. Uh, I, I am. That, that's yeah. why. Yeah, that's, that's how you realise. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Lonzo Ball. I had them for a dollar each and I was happy. And that's when he was shooting that good at Chicago's first year. Right, oh, you got a you got a tray young here. Of injury, be... He's, no, it's not, it's just base. Nothing. It's, it's like green, so it's What's like going on here? red. Big lens and shit. <laughs> Golem. No brand. Ratchet Gladiator's nothing too hectic. Oh, it's just it's not a bad lens. It's just hard to sell on me. Because of how like non names. I'm shocked because I, I think if you saw this, ghosts. you'd buy it. I'd look it up. Like, Is that on PS One? That's PC. So oh, PC. I don't do PC. I don't know. It's worth looking at them, but a lot of them need codes. Yeah, that's so why I don't. Careful. That's why I don't do it. I don't, okay. I don't know if the older games with the CD needs a code though. Not all of them. What are you focusing yeah. on now, Jamie? Just cameras? Yeah, I actually do a bit of jerseys and stuff now. Oh yeah? So, yeah. Good. So boys, what's some shit? I don't like being. Well, I'll buy this. <laughs> I'll buy that. All right, lovely. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate. We, char we charge extra for resellers. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, right. Too. What, these actually, why are you bringing them down here? Just there. No charges. Do no charges? Um, I don't have the charging base, base for it. It needs like a base plate charger. These do really well. Yeah. You should be putting them on eBay. Probably. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, how much on the Fitbit, Jamie? All, all three? All three? Yeah. Uh, 20 on the three. Okay. And then the Darling Bud. I'll give you 30 with the Darling Buds. Yeah. Yeah, it's not in there. All right. I'll um I'll swing back through later. Thank you. Happy selling, guys. All right, we got we got to strike off Jamie. You've got to strike off Jamie. More to the uh, point. I don't know. You've just found yourself an amazing little find there. Can, can you tell the guys what you got? I have got the Pokemon uh, Adventures of Orange Islands. Um, season two. Season two. And what, what was it selling for? Uh, around about thirty to thirty-five dollars. So thirty-five takeout fees, post cost of goods. That might be some profit in there for Hopefully. you, Fabsy. Hopefully. Well done, mate. Hopefully. I've been able to pick up these off Jamie. These Fitbits. I have no idea what the actual value is, but I know that the sell-through rate is really, really good. And then we've got a, a sealed copy there of the Darling Buds of May DVD collection as well. So that being sealed, it should go for for more than more than pre-owned anyway. I haven't, I haven't comped any of that, so I think we might comp that a little bit later in the video. We'll see what it's worth. That's pretty cool. I don't know who he is. Who's that dude? That's the Hammer Shark, the DC character. DC. Fabs, are you doing some work over there? I am. Like that? I am. Hundred and twenty on Rex. Woo! Hey, your dad might like that. What do you reckon, Frank? <laughs> do you want that? <laughs> it's hundred and twenty. <laughs> He'll love that. <laughs> yeah, true. Descent as well. Some rare board games. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, that sticker's floating around everywhere. Enterprise. See, if you find these big Star Treks, they do pretty damn well. <coughs> what do you got, season one to four? Season one to four. <coughs> it's gonna be the best flea uh, stall here, mate. You reckon? Yeah. You got great stuff. He's got a, oh, he's got Murder, She Wrote as well. That's a big DVD series. How much on Murder, She Wrote, mate? 80 bucks. 80. Mm. Yeah. You wouldn't do 40, would you? 40 bucks, mate. I'd do 40. Never a good sign. I'll leave it for now, mate. If it's still there at the end of the day, we can talk again, eh? Yeah, no worries. All right. What's the deal looking like right now? 180 for the lot. 180, and you got nine of them. So 20 bucks each. I'll do 160. Yeah. You know you need them for about 40 to 45 yeah. to be profitable. Average. I'll be pretty good on them, yeah. So, yeah. So if you lock that out, and then if you go into sort, and then you go uh, highest price, and then you lock the highest price, you'll get a running list of price points, so it won't be confusing. And then you want to, so here, at the, here at the flea, you want to go condition, you want to lock out, well, when you, when you see used, you want to lock out used. And you also, one other thing I like to do, is I like to lock out, um, location Australia. Yeah, and then you can still see internationals under it. But there, uh, see that list? Pops, mm. uh, so that one's in there, but that one's your only sale for that. So you've got 35 on that, but there's only one sale. Mm. But now you can type them all in, you'll get that list. You see what I mean? Like it's, it, you see what I mean? It's sideways, yeah. like, it's two sideways. It's basically retail. Yeah. Well, yeah, but again, no, nothing in Australia. They're all italics. <sighs> nothing in Australia. Yeah. I think I might have just saved money there. I'm about to spend 160. Oh, yeah. The saw collection co is we quite do, good. Yeah. How many of them? That's a double up of two. Oh no, one, two, three, four, five. What's one to five go for? That's very rough. Another DVD for Fabs, potentially here. <laughs> is that the actual prices? No. No, that's the okay. original. 
So that's the original that um, Leading Edge Video Store would have done. And there's only two really, and the one that's been sold is 24. So we're looking at, I would go Saw DVD in here. Right. To um, broaden the search, so get rid of one to five. All right, and then you want to sort by highest price. And then scroll down, so there's a 57 there for one to six. One to seven goes for 37. I don't know what that is. That one's one to seven, so it's like, if you have these other movies, you get good money. Yeah. And then scrolling down, that's a one to six. Two, three, four, five, and six went to 40. One, two, three, four, five, six went to 35. Four, five, six. It looks like the real value lies in those <laughs> over five. Yeah. It depends what we get them for, though. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what am I asking about? So how much on the uh, how much on the DVDs? And I'd hold them up, hold, hold them up, yeah, hold them up, so she knows what you're talking about. Yeah. And then just be like, how much for all that? How much on the DVDs? Dollar each. Yep. Let's do it. We're doing it. We'll do it. Five bucks. Nah. You're right. Uh, don't worry about the bag, it's all good, thank you. Yeah. Much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you very much. You. Always a pleasure. Fabsy. Yeah. Fabsy. You got a dollar each? A dollar each. Yeah. So, <clears throat> well, I think probably 30. Yeah. Um, but if we find when we're out sourcing in thrift stores, etc., uh, number six and number seven, then we've got a complete set. And then that went, and then it goes up to 50. The, the stores. That um, that deal. Yeah. 180, and then comes to like all up with like 300. Yeah. So minus, that's money back. Minus 15 percent, minus shipping. And it's like it's money back, man. Yeah. Um. It sucks though, because it's good. Yeah, but. You want to find for five dollars? 100. Yeah. So he was as soon as he offered 20, I knew there was alarm bells. Yeah. Because he he would have had to have had 100 dollar pops in there to be worth it. Yeah. Um. Because shipping. And no sales in Australia. That's right. So with that filter lock and having that set locked out, you can get real quick yeah, reference. It should come up. I had Australia lock, so Australia will come up straight away. And if, it's, the highest. And if it's italics, yeah, that means no there's nothing in Oz. So really crucial to have that as your filter. Well, you saved me money because I almost, I almost pulled the trigger. I, I know. I heard you say yes to 160 or something. Yeah. I was like, no, don't do that. Well, 160 I could make. I'll, I'll just you would go, need 500 in value, I'll roughly. I'll just go sell it to Friendly Bricks for, to, you know. Yeah, but you're not in it for that. No. You're not trying to get your money back. You're trying to make profitable buys. Oh, are they, are they Starbucks? Royal Caribbean. Um, Starbucks. Yeah, Starbucks. I don't know what they call these things, but um, Harry Tornado. They are Coca-Cola though. Royal Caribbean Coca-Cola. Um, I don't know what they call them, but over in over in the state, tumblers. Yeah, tumblers. They're really collectible. Some of them can be like one, two hundred bucks. We've got five How to Train Your Dragon books over here for Fabs. Fifty. That one there is twenty-five for books one to three. You could do it. You could do it. If you would, you reckon? I don't know. I don't think so. You don't reckon? No. You don't want it? No. I you, mean, a dollar. You like... could. They're only a dollar. See? And it is one to five, which is good. It's not like you're missing one inside. No. Um, there's some individual ones down there. But you probably want to build up more. Yeah. Um, to have more of a... Because as you'll see, they sell better in their completes. Um, yeah. But then in the partials, <laughs> they can do okay. So it's kind of like one you would have, a bit like the saw, where you yeah. try and build on it later on. Yeah. You could even build on it out here. Yeah, there might be more out there. Completely up to you. I'll do whatever you decide. Okay, well I'm on my way, so give me a couple of minutes, I'll be here. No. Okay. Done. He said no. He said no. Okay. <clears throat> Fair enough.
If it was me, Fabs, I would have said no too. Lemon said it's only the controls. I'm more interested in what you've got in this box here. Oh yeah? Yeah. Ten dollars a lot if you want them. I'm just, I'm still unpacking. Oh yeah. You're still unpacking. <laughs> you got a bit, a bit going on there. What, what are they? There's medieval top horses and. Medieval. Oh. Horses and jockeys. Where do they? Do you know the story behind them? No, it's, I've got about five, six different family members to take this, take this. Well, I'll take it for ten. She just was about to put them out, and they were quite interesting. So, they had um 2003 Schleich, oh, yeah, Germany. And there's some really interesting, not something we normally do, but they're all schleich. I don't know if you can capture that underneath the leg there. I'll do some research on it when we get back home. Forza. Yeah, my daughter, you know, when we bought the car. Forza Motorsport, surely. Forza 4. Do you want to check that one, Kapaz? Of course. There you go. Forza 4. Looks like it's worth about 20 bucks. Let's see how much it is. How much for the game? $8. $8 each, no worries. How much do you want to pay? Oh, probably 5 Somebody up 2 for 5 already. Okay for you. Done. Done. We'll do it. Game looking alright in there? to someone before, you know, they say, who, who? Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. It feels, Enjoy. It feels pretty good. Appreciate that. Yeah, yeah it looks good. Just slide them in there, even. Video games, DVDs, books. Doing it all, Fabs. Needs new battery. I don't know what that means. It's a V10, though. It means it needs a new battery. But, see, this is really, really good. I want to ask. Um, does it work? Yeah, does it work? So, doesn't work. Yeah, but does that mean it's a bit faulty and it doesn't quite? It does. It just. I'll leave it then. <laughs> Thank you so much for your help, though. It's still there. Let's see if I got forty, because if I show him cash, he might want it. Show them a 50 and I'll say 40. Could be dangerous. Yeah, you'd be like, like, no, just give me the 50. Yeah. All right, let's see. Am I a chance at uh, 40? Oh, sorry, mate. 50? Yeah, 50, yeah, if you want it. Mmm. 45. No, 50 is a lot. I know they go for way more than that, so. You got me. Oh, you got you. me. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> oh, you got me. The man with the sheet of paper got me. So there's definitely 120. Uh, then there was 100. Okay, so there was a 120 and 100. Oh, there was 130 as well. I think we can get 120. It's like, it's like buying a pair of Doc Martens for 50 and selling them for 120, which we commonly do. It's the only issue is just shipping on this might be a little bit more. It might be like 15 to 20. But you'll still profit like maybe thirty dollars. Had to do it. Jamie has just torched me. These there is nothing in these, just bands, no actual device. I mean, I should have done my, my checking, but I, I, I trusted. Let's just start it. I trusted Jamie. I hope there's a clip that you can roll back of me saying, please check everything. I will. We'll roll the clip. How much on the Fitbit, Jamie? All, all three. All three. Yeah. Okay. And then the Darling Bud. I'll give you 30 with the Darling Buds. I said I won't take any refunds off you because you're a struggling young lad. <laughs> <laughs> Just bought his first car, battling for finances, so there's a couple of bucks. Hey Amanda, Jamie has stitched me up. I've bought these and there is literally nothing in them. I want to tell you, I told him. He, he charged me... Th he charged me $30. <laughs> no, because that was with the DVDs. There's nothing in there, basically. He's, there's loose the bands. One of them's only got the band, the other two are in. Who's the winner here? 100%. Check everything, check everything. Check hey, everything. 
One of the fundamental rules at the flea market is to check everything. You are 100% right. Guy and he goes, you know what? I appreciate you saying that, but you know, most of us out here check everything before we buy anything. It's so true, so. and I always do. But I thought, Jamie, that I could not have to check when I it came to you. Back. Well, maybe on, on all of our bad purchases today, we can get our money back when we sell these, because that is a good buy. $20. Twenty dollars. No, Fabs. I've got to say, this is part of the video. Fabs today has found these three items, and they are three very good buys. We've got. Like someone's been watching the video. Has been, actually has been. <laughs> um, so Pokemon there, Forza. So there's maybe twenty five, twenty, and then maybe twenty five to thirty. So that's maybe seventy dollars in value. And what did you spend on all that? It was a dollar each, basically. Yeah. That was five. 10, 15 dollars. Yeah. So 15 into 70 for the first ever time out here at the flea market. Okay. That's that's pretty damn good Not because. All of us can $5 <laughs> <in it>. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we'll um we'll put that down as a uh, as a loss. So we have got a total of 15 sales that we're going to be putting into the mailbag tomorrow. But a bit like last week, I think we'll get a few more this afternoon come through for the Monday post. So we might end up with about 20 like we usually do. There are some really good sales to talk about though. So I do run, want to run through that with you. And the first one that I've got uh, is just here. We're going to be doing the 15 sales from the lowest price, sale price, all the way up to the most expensive. And the most expensive sale this weekend was a good one. Um, this one is Awesome Golf. This one's on the Lynx, the Atari Lynx right there. Um, so I've had this one in store for quite a while. These old vintage video games typically do pretty well. Um, but this one actually came through from a reprice. I went back through the, um, the comps of Awesome Golf uh, on eBay and it was saying that it was more around the $20 price point. I think we had this listed up originally for like 25 to 30. Um, so I dropped it down to $19.99 and we got the sale come through. So a bunch of bubble wrap around that. We'll put it into a small satchel for $8.50. Won't make us a lot of money, but we got the sale because we made that manipulation. So that was a good one. Um, first one of the day. The next one that we've got here is uh, this one here, which is a bit of a unique one. We've got some memory card slots for the PlayStation. Uh, so this would, this would have been in a large video game bundle that we purchased, um, profited on all of that, and this was just one small item that we had left over. Um, so you just hold your memory cards. I've got a bunch of memory cards over here. Um, so they were just sitting in there like that. And any big gaming collector out there, that's on oh no, it's not upside down. Um, they would have that fully trade out. So $25 was the sale price that we got for these. So again, just some bubble wrap. We'll put it into a small satchel. That'll go out the door for complete profit, uh, which was good too. Anything PlayStation, anything video games, as you know, is a good one to be finding. Okay, tub number 27. So this is one of what will be quite a few DVD sales. Uh, that have come through. So we've got The Affair here on DVD. This is season one to five of the TV show, The Affair. Um, so we've got a $30 sale price, $29.99, but this one did not hang around for very long at all. Um, very accurately priced based on the comps and uh, the sale came through very, very fast. So um, that would be definitely classed as a bread and butter, uh, sort of a sale price, $30 for a set of five DVDs. Um, I'm pretty sure, actually there, there's the giveaway. It says, the last one there says, the final season. Um, so we've got a complete series set there. This would have sat in the store for no longer than a week or two. Um, if we only had season one to four, for instance, though, we probably wouldn't have it sell in a week. But because we've got the complete series set, the sell-through rate is, is, is much, much better. Um, that's why when we were at the flea market today and we were looking at things like uh, the Saw DVDs, we, we just expect that to sell a little bit slower uh, because we don't have movies six and seven. Um, same goes for this example here. So try to complete your sets, try to buy complete sets and, and maybe leave the partial sets to the wayside um, you know, until you can complete it. So this next one was a Nacon. It says Nacon PS4 compact controller. So PS4 controller, I think that's a standard PS4 controller. I'm not 100% sure. Again, it just came a bit like the uh, PlayStation um, memory card slots. It was just in a bundle. And I went ahead and I listed this uh, one up individually because I just like the fact that it was the color, uh, a little bit of a different color to it than the standard controllers. Um, this one sold for $32. So we got a $32 sale price. What I love about this is it's a local pickup. Um, so we're not going to have to pay the $8.50 to ship it off. 
Uh, normally we would have put this in a small satchel with some bubble wrap, but uh, we can go ahead now and have it picked up for the full price of 32. We'll take off 15% in fees, which is probably gonna be about $5. Um, so that brings this down to a $27 sale price. And obviously being in a, a big bulk video game purchase, um, I'm guessing that this is pretty much gonna be pure profit for $27, considering we've sold consoles and all the rest of it um, for, for the profit. So good one there. Yet again, just highlighting the fact that the video game category, whether it be an accessory, a console, video games, they all do really well. Now, I've spoken a bit about what I hope to try and do with all of these shoes, uh, and that is reprice, but I'm yet to do it. So I'm just really conscious when the shoe offers come in to go ahead and just accept them because I'm ultimately gonna reduce the price on them at some point soon anyway. Um, that was the case with these. I had these footy boots priced up for $50 and we had an offer come through for $40. So I just said yes, uh, because I probably would have dropped the price to 40 for these ones anyway. Um, the issue with these ones is they don't have the inner sole, as you can see there. So that would be the reason why you would have a shoe drop from 50 to 40 based on comps. Maybe you were seeing a bunch of comps for this shoe at $50, but because it doesn't have that insole, maybe you should go ahead and list yours up for 45, 40, because there is, I guess, a part missing. Um, it's not an issue because people have got their own inner soles out there uh, and they still buy them. I just think a really good point with shoes when you're coming to sell them is if they don't have that inner sole, and that's literally just a pull out thing, um, it's nothing to it. Um, you can buy them in like Coles and Woolies for like $10. Um, but uh, take a photo, do a zoomed in shot of the sole and just make sure buyers are aware because if somebody gets it and they don't realize there's no sole in it, um, they might get frustrated and they do a return. We don't want that, so just one simple photo can fix it. All right, we've got some anime, some anime DVDs here that have been selling well for us. This is the My Him Complete Collection. Uh, again, we're listing this, this one up for good money because it says Complete Collection on the DVD. Um, so this one wouldn't cost us too much because it came in a big bulk buy. Every single disc in there, all looking pretty good. It's a region four copy as well. Um, the disc uh, condition is excellent as well. So that'll go fine. Shouldn't have an issue if we put some bubble wrap around it and put it into a small satchel, which we will. And that one there sold for $40 as well. And this one was a great sale. Great sale because it came from a viewer of the YouTube channel. Uh, Shelby has bought this. This is a book set that I found in the thrift on Thursday's vlog. So just two or three days ago, it's our most recent video on the channel. Um, this one here is sold for $40 to Shelby, um, who has grabbed this basically watching us find it in the video. Um, so we've got a bunch of other book sets, um, box sets here that we found. Uh, we've got some Harry Potter books up here as well. So the book set bundles do really well and I always try to buy them when they're in their box sets like this. Um, so shipping for Shelby, I'll, put, I'll probably put this one into a box um, these are all quite large boxes, but I would try and find a smaller box to put that in with some bubble wrap. And uh, that should ship for about $12, I'd say. So that'll bring it down to 28. I'm pretty sure I bought this for 10. Uh, so 28 will bring it down to 18. The fees will bring it down to maybe 12 to $14 in profit. Um, but a big thank you to Shelby. Always good to see viewers purchase. I'll keep this one pretty short and sharp, but it's another DVD series. We've got Mr. Robot here. Um, so it came in the Hoarder House pickup that we had recently. Um, so there's a lot of DVDs that came through, 50 cents a piece on these, so really cheap purchase price. Um, we're talking $2 buy for these four DVDs. And it is, um, yeah, well, there you go again. That's always a nice giveaway. Uh, season four, the final season. So again, a bit like the affair that we were speaking about earlier. This is the complete series set and it's sold in a couple of weeks. Um, so this one as well, a $40 sale price. Another great DVD that we've been able to sell. This one's a really unique item. It's an item that I've had in the store for a really, really long time. I actually didn't even know if you could sell this item. It's a Deliveroo jacket. Uh, and there it is there. I don't know if it's an Asian version of the Deliveroo jacket. I really don't know. Um, but it's only a size small and it was $8 in a thrift store. And I just thought there's so many Deliveroo drivers out there that somebody might like this if they don't, they don't have one. I don't even know if Deliveroo supply you with like a staff jacket or something. Um, but anyway, I grabbed it for eight. It was in excellent condition. I'll put it into a small satchel and we got a $49 sale price on this. Um, would I buy it again if I saw it in a thrift store? Probably not. Um, but yeah, $49 off an $8 purchase price. I think it's cool. Um, I, as for sell-through rate, I can't even remember. I wouldn't have even considered sell-through rate when I bought it. Um, it was back when I was doing a lot more clothing than I am at the moment. Um, but yeah, $49, I was actually pretty surprised when it came through. So one thing that I try to pay a bit of attention to when I'm out thrifting, 
um, which I haven't really spoken about too heavily, is I really pay attention to the dates that are on the stickers from the thrift store. They always put the date on there. Um, now with this collection of Harry Potter books, it wasn't a complete series set. Um, we've actually only got six and Harry Potter needs seven for a complete series. Um, can't remember exactly which one's missing. Uh, might be, I don't know, Philosopher's Stone is there. I'm not sure which one, but it is missing one. But what happened in store for this purchase is there were three different dates that the staff members in the thrift store had put these books on the shelf. So they didn't all come in through one donation. They came in over many donations and they slowly got filled up on the shelf. So I had to go digging through all of the books in the bookshelf to try and find this set of six and I searched forever to try and find the seventh book. I couldn't find it so I ended up going ahead and bringing it home, listing it up and we got a, I think it was a $49 sale price or a $50 odd sale price um, for that book series set there. So I would say based off all of the books that we've got in this cabinet here that Harry Potter does the best. Harry Potter sells instantly even if it's in its partials like this. Um, so whenever you see Harry Potter out there, uh, make sure you grab it and always build on the collection as you find more as you go. Uh, cool, Warehouse 13 is a partial season set. Uh, one, two, three, four, and five. The issue with uh, this one here that I noticed is on the back, oh no, no, it's fine. So on the back here, you'll see there, it says region two, four, and five. Um, so that one there will play on pretty much any DVD player. But this one only has, oh no, that's got two, four, and five. Completely ignore what I just said. I'm only looking at the, uh, this is the giveaway here. See that there? That's a region two code. And that's the equivalent of the Australian version M. So that made me think that they might be different regions, but these regions are actually all two, four, and five. So no concerns for a DVD player at all with this sale, but it is a part season set. I don't know exactly what the comps go for a complete set, but I know that this is a big show, um, Warehouse 13. Um, but we only had th uh, five seasons and we got a $45 sale price. So being five seasons, again, small satchel, bubble wrap, $8.50 and a $45 sale price, buying them for 50 cents each. So $2.50 into 45, pretty good. You guys might have remembered uh, we bought these recently. These are the Clifton Nines, the Hokers. Um, we paid $15, I think, from memory. Uh, these got listed up only two or three days ago. Hoker, like I was saying with the Harry Potter books, I would arguably say that Hoker is my favorite brand of shoe to find. Um, so if you're wanting to get into your shoe, uh, shoe sales, you could pay upwards of $25 for these shoes if they're in good condition and still profit great money. Um, so these are actually only bought for a little bit less at $15 and we've ended up selling them for a generous offer of $60. Uh, so a $60 sale price, they'll go into a small satchel as well. Um, nice and easy postage run for us this weekend, which is great. Um, but yeah, 15 into 60, not exactly sure what the e-profit calculator would say, but it might be like $30, $35 in profit, um, which is excellent for a pair of shoes. Still can't get over the Brisbane Lions winning last night. If you guys didn't watch it, monster game, wasn't it, Kate? Huge game. Um, and they beat, they beat GWS. So GWS is the team that we're trying to beat in YouTube subscribers. So their membership is, I think, at 36,000 now and we're very close to 32,000. So you guys can help us out by knocking over the Giants, by subscribing to the channel, and then we're gonna work our way up the AFL ladder and try and knock over Collingwood. I think they've got 106,000, so we've got some work to do. Um, so if you're enjoying these video, guys, that's my little call out for today's video. Hit subscribe. Um, big one here, this is the top three. So Millennium, Millennium on DVD. I'm pretty certain, a bit like everything else today, Millennium might be a complete series set. Just the three seasons to look out for. This is one that you could easily find in a thrift store and not think too much of it. Um, but if you do your research on Millennium, it goes for about $70 to $80 and we got a $70 sale price on this bad guy. Um, so I love, the, I love the rare TV show seasons like this that are only three seasons for a complete set. Um, there's a few of them out there. It's the big ones that always cost a little bit more in postage, uh, but you're always gonna get a fantastic profit if you're buying these in a thrift store for cheap and then only ever putting them into a small satchel. So $70, add that one to your list. Now this one has sold as well, which is one to add to the list as well. This has come in all of the other collections that we've had uh, in this video where they've been a do 50 cents a purchase. So we've actually got 11 seasons here of the TV show Murdoch Mysteries. Um, we are missing season 11, I think it is. Yeah, season 11 is missing. Um, so we've got season one to 12 minus 11. Um, so 11 seasons worth of a collect here. Hopefully that all made sense. but. We'll put this one into a box with some bubble wrap and I'm pretty certain we got a $70 sale price 
on this one as well. We won't quite make as much profit, obviously, because there are more DVDs. That means more postage cost. Um, that's why Millennium was so good. Um, but yeah, this is an excellent DVD series. I think there are a few more seasons out there to collect for this one. Um, but when you get a large allotment like that, it's always going to do well. That's a little one to find as well. ITV. If you're looking for your DVDs, ITV can do really well. It just pops up all the time for me in my sales. I'm seeing a lot of it. It would be the Broadcasting Network. BBC is the other one out there that does well, the British uh, Broadcasting Service. So anyway, ITV Studios, big one there. Here it is, guys, the number one best-selling item from the weekend. We've got CSI, Crime Scene Investigation. Now, this one is the finale. We've got the lot. And this one wasn't in a big bulk allocation either. This was found in a thrift store out in the trenches, hunting and digging through DVDs like everybody else out there. And I was able to nab this allocation of every single one. Now, I did pay, I paid $100. This was in a recent thrift video that you guys may have watched. Um, and I knew that out of that haul, I bought the entire DVD haul for $100. And I knew that being able to sell this, I'd be able to get my money back. And then everything else in that $100 haul in the video is now going to be profit for me because i got the big guy to sell. Um, so this has gone on to sell for $170, this big set. And we're going to put it into a box. Um, it won't cost any more than about $15 to $20 to ship off. Like I said, I knew at the time that with $170 sale price, we'll probably profit $100 on this. And that's what I bought all of the DVDs for that day. So we've got so many other series in here now that are going to be pure profit because of this guy. Um, so there it is there. There's a lot of different variations of CSI, but this is the original, and it's all 15 seasons, I think, all up. So if you're ever after a DVD that's going to make some money, this one's going to be it. Maybe have a look on Facebook Marketplace, see if people are trying to sell it. So that's all there ready to go. We've got 15 sales. Like I said, it's only early on a Sunday morning, so we should get another five or six sales come through. That'll make it about a 20-odd sale weekend. I haven't updated the whiteboard up there, but we have slowed a little bit in our sales. I think we're trying to average 366 and we're averaging about 350 at the moment. So we're, we're just ever so slightly off pace. Um, but this is gonna be the day for me uh, ahead on this Sunday is to list up everything on this table. And Kate, what I might get you to do is just scan the camera over these Pokemon cards while I talk. Um, these are all vintage Pokemon cards that I bought when I was in America uh, last year. And I've grouped them out into their different they're different, um, I don't even know what you call it, just the different series of cards that came out, like this one here. Um, no, which one? It's 102, where's 102, guys? God, where's the 102? There. So this is, this is a, a great example. This is the base set. This is the very first ever base set cards that came out, and this is part of the collect. So there are some rare cards in here. These aren't like wildly rare cards, but they are the first ever base set. And there's some base set two cards in here as well. So I'm actually going to go ahead today and I'm going to list up all of these cards for about $150 to maybe $200. Just as a vintage card lot, a bit like I do with the video games. And these things are so sought after on eBay that I think they're going to sell really fast for that $150 to $200. And it's going to be one shipment cost to get it out. And it is actually the last of the Pokemon card allocation that I bought when I was in America last year. The only cards that I've got left are the Venusaur, the Blastoise and the Charizard Shadowless base set hollows. Still holding on to those. Don't exactly know what I'm going to do with them yet. Uh, but these are all the commons that were left over. It took us about an hour yesterday to sift through it all and to work out exactly what we had. But that's going to go up onto eBay today. And then pretty much everything else is the flea market items that you saw out of today's haul when we are at the flea with Fabs, uh, which I thought was a pretty cool little addition to the video today. It just gives you perspective on being four years into the game versus being completely fresh and brand new. And it's a bit of an eye-opener for me because I kind of forget what it's like when you are at that beginning level. Um, but Fabs did a really great job. Three awesome finds. And uh, I think it was a cool little exercise to run for the video for you guys. Um, Going to leave you with this video right here, guys. It is a big one. It's a long one like this one's been. So if you're still here watching now, let's knock over the giants. Subscribe to the channel. We'll see you soon.